Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Chinwe Ekwanu and I'm a dentist based in London and I'd like today specifically to talk about fluoride. So uh, fluoride is actually a hot topic. Um, I find that lately whenever I ask my patients sometimes when we're sort of gauging and trying to understand what their oral hygiene habits are and we get to the part where I ask them what kind of toothpaste do they use. Um, lately, I've been getting some of this um, more frequently, this answer of using fluoride-free toothpaste, you know. And I've noticed that now even parents sort of are trying to transfer that to the kids. So when they bring the kids for the checkup, they say, my children do not use um, fluoride um, um, toothpaste. And um, whenever I ask reason behind that, everyone seems to believe that um, fluoride is extremely uh, toxic. And if you do, for example, type on the internet, is fluoride toxic, loads of papers, everything is just all sorts of things are just gonna come out. As a dental professional, my job is also to sort of help, you know, patients and the general public and guide them in terms of what kind of information they're reading concerning uh, fluoride. So first of all, fluoride is a very important mineral that can be found even just in natural water. And um, obviously we've used it for many, many years. It plays a very fundamental role in terms of prevention of um, cavities. And by cavities, I mean decay, caries, holes, however you want to put it. It's also very important to know that the amount of fluoride that's in contained in toothpaste is definitely, definitely safe and non-toxic. It's all about using it correctly. In fact, you do notice that we have children's toothpaste, adults' toothpaste, and the reason we have this difference is that, for example, for children, we have a less amount of fluoride compared to that of adults. Fluoride, I mean, according to um, clinical-based studies, have been proven, has, has been proven to be a very, very, very important structure in terms of strengthening the enamel and the enamel is the outermost part of the tooth. Its job is to protect the innermost part of the tooth, which is the dentin and the nerve, so that they do not break down. And what fluoride does, especially when used daily, is that it integrates with the crystals that form the enamel, hence forming a very, very strong uh, particle, which makes it more difficult for acids to attack and for bugs and bacteria to dissolve. So how should you use a fluoride toothpaste? Um, a fluoride toothpaste should be used twice a day on a toothbrush, be it a manual toothbrush or electric toothbrush. It's very important to stress that you should not use too much toothpaste. A pea size is actually enough, okay, on your toothpaste. And when we're dealing with kids, especially for example toddlers, once the first teeth come through, we're looking at a rice grain amount. amount. Kids should always be supervised when using a toothpaste because sometimes you know this toothpaste actually it tastes really good and uh, children might tend to swallow so please always under supervision ideally after brushing your teeth with a fluoride toothpaste you are not supposed to rinse out people are very shocked by this statement every time we give this advice but if you think about it it's just like when you go into the sun and you wear sunscreen on your face you know you don't wash that out before you go into the sun if you do rinse after brushing with a fluoride toothpaste you've basically rinsed out all the fluoride and you're not allowing the teeth to actually absorb it. So this is very important to remember that once you're done brushing, you can spit, but ideally you don't want to rinse. Um, some people find that, okay, the taste of the toothpaste might be too strong, etc. So what I normally recommend to my patients is if you struggle with the spit, don't rinse. Once you're done with brushing with a fluoride toothpaste, do get a tongue scraper because the issue is that you still have some you know, toothpaste, for example, on your tongue. So use a tongue scraper and you would realize that you'd have less taste of the mint or the toothpaste in your mouth. And that should um, help. In terms of um, too much fluoride in some areas or parts of the world, you might have read about um, fluoride uh, fluorosis. It is a condition when there's too much fluoride, um, especially in the natural water. So people just drinking a lot of this water, for example, in some parts of um, Africa and um, the results of this excessive fluoride on the teeth is that of staining. So you find out that people tend to have this kind of white brown mottling appearance on the teeth. And um, whenever we see things, whenever we see cases like that, of course, we tend to um, sort of recommend cutting down on the fluoride. 
but generally speaking fluoride is very important it helps prevent cavities especially with children and kids in fact in um, the UK the guidelines that we have with according to the delivering Be better oral health guidelines is that of providing fluoride varnish when we see the kids every six months because at that age they're a vulnerable age where they're not able to clean properly they might be snacking a lot you know brushing might not be very good so the application of the fluoride varnish by the dental professional then helps strengthen the teeth as the child grows so my advice especially for parents is please use fluoride toothpaste on your kids monitor the quantity that's being used you know make sure your children are not swallowing it but believe me it saves and prevents a lot of cavities um, in the uk i think about 50 million pounds every year is dedicated to actually extractions seed extractions i find this actually one of the toughest parts of my job when i have to assess kids and i see a whole mouth full of cavities and most of the time when i ask the parents you know they do say yes we do not use a fluoride toothpaste plus the fact that other things might not be you know right in terms of the diet sugar intake brushing etc but to avoid all this hassle for, especially for the kids and you know unnecessary sort of um you know sedation or general anesthetic most of the time the children are put at a very young age under general anesthetic you know just for teeth to be extracted you know let's use fluoride for what it's meant for and um, yeah please if you're ever confused you know or you have any questions concerning fluoride, I recommend you speak to your dentist, you know, or the hygienist, a dental professional that you trust and that you know, and they can definitely guide you and provide you with more information. Thank you.